We were just talking about what um, uh, impressions we can do. Yeah. I can't remember because I, I need to hear his voice again. But do we do a good Magumbo? Or do we just say the line? I think we just say the line. I have to hear his voice again. Yeah, I would too. Magumbo. Uh, Kushwa. Yeah. Very right. deep voice, obviously. Very deep. So uh, yeah, I could I think with with practice, I could I think I could get Amitabh Bakchan. I think I could get Kamal Hassan. I think I know I could do Ranveer. Maybe Rithik. Maybe. Another one that would be interesting to try, I just don't know if it's in the wheelhouse because I've, I've never, Forget there's it. voices, there's voices, you hear them and you just automatically start to, res, they resonate with you. You know, you could get that voice. And there's been many times throughout my life, I leave a movie theater and I'm, I'm impersonating the person because they impacted me and there's a connectivity to them. But uh, uh, yeah, those, those would be I the tops for me. <laughs> 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 and you knew what I was doing. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex of Corbin. I'm oh, Rick. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. <laughs> Thank you to our peace force on Patreon. Follow us Twitter account, subscribe, like button. Uh, the easiest Indian impersonation of every Indian star of all time. You, you have to agree with this. It's got to be Shah Rukh Khan. And all you got to do is spread the arms. Yeah, it's, I don't know if that's an impression. Yeah. What do you call something that you're just impersonating movements? It's, I don't think you, it's still an impression. I think, I think impression, you have to be vocal, right? Mm, no. Have you ever I, seen an impression of non-vocal? Absolutely. That's mimicry, though. If, it, if there's no vocal, it's still an impersonation. It it's still an impersonation. But like if, if, there, if there's no vocal at all, isn't that just mimicry? No, I think it still qualifies as impersonation. I don't think so. I do. Let us if know. you were doing Charlie Chaplin and all you were doing was the walk. Mimicry. That's mimicry. I think it's impersonation. Mimicry know. is just a funny copy. Impersonation, I think, is far closer toward an incarnation, and it doesn't have to be just the voice. It's in, it's in any way whatsoever that you are communicating that you're being that person. No. Uh, if I throw a got... cigarette into my mouth, who am I, who am I impersonating? You're mimicking uh, I'm impersonating. Uh, today we got a uh, food video. This is Mumbai survival food. Dun, 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 dun. Street food for pennies. Eat it or die. Uh, <laughs> what? It's survival food. Survival, eat it or die. Here we go. Ooh, look at that. We're taking a deep dive into Mumbai's survival food. Delicious meals that will fill you up even if you're broke. This guy puts butter so generously. In fact, each of the five foods in this video Good costs night. less than one dollar. I was in college that I explored this place. But first, let's back up. Mumbai is known as the food capital of India. 12.5 million. That's a debatable fact, I bet. Therefore, the need for cheap and affordable food is a daily necessity. We just love the food. But fortunately, every corner of this city has something unique to offer. From treats that will give you instant heart attack. I would recommend <laughs> eat it once in your lifetime. To skilled chefs that perform food shows to lure in hungry patrons. Get ready for the survival food of Mumbai. Is there a more interesting food to watch be prepared than Indian food? As far as the colors and the textures and... Our experience begins with one of the cheapest breakfast options out there. Indian breakfasts are freaking the This mouth-watering the best. dish combines the rich taste of chickpeas or chole with the soft disc-shaped loaf of leavened bread known as kulcha. This dish special is the captivating performance that sellers across Mumbai put on to entice hungry crowds. Let's take a closer look at how this culinary masterpiece is created. We begin by melting a dollop of butter, filling the air with its enticing aroma. Next, we infuse the butter with the earthy cumin and add finely chopped onions, creating a sizzling symphony of flavors. As the onions turn golden, we introduce vibrant tomatoes, a pinch of salt and fragrant garam masala. 
Now it's time for the star of the dish, the overnight cooked chickpeas. These tender morsels soak up the spices, infusing each bite with a delightful blend of taste and texture. There's so much going on there. To enhance the dish's essence, we add a touch of water and a little more butter, creating a luscious, slightly soupy consistency. Just when you thought it couldn't get any better, we squeeze the tangy juice of a lemon, infusing a burst of freshness into the dish. The fragrant chole culture is now ready to be savoured, served in a traditional vessel. Now for the second half of this dish, we have freshly baked buttery hot kulchas from a local bakery. The kulchas are gently heated on a griddle, preserving their softness and imparting a delectable buttery oh. flavour. Oh. Let the bread be your vessel, scooping oh. up the tantalizing chickpea curry as your taste buds dive Good into Lord, a sea that looks of amazing. with each delightful bite. Churi katuri. Savory breakfast, man. Next up, brace yourself for Mumbai's pocket-friendly survival snack. This everyday delight Rolls. can be yours for a mere 50 cents. That's a full meal for less than the <laughs> price of a gum in the US. It was 50 cent. with a grilled chapati bread and a mixture of mashed potatoes chapati. also known as puree. Then comes a generous spread of Shezwan chutney. Your mom has a generous spread. On top of that, a colorful blend of onions and cabbage. The star of this dish, the grilled mashed potato or puree, along Whoa, with a sprinkle of that's grilled mashed potatoes. Of cheese. I don't think I've ever had grilled mashed potatoes. Never. When Didn't know it existed. The fiery kick of Shizwan sauce, the creamy delight of melted cheese, or the chewy <laughs> mouthfeel of the toasted chapati. Prepare to Your be child. captivated by the bold flavors, creamy the delight, of textures, all chewy mouthfeel. Swastik Frankie <laughs> has crafted a masterpiece that goes beyond street food. It's an experience that leaves a lasting impression on your taste buds. Frankie, stop it! <laughs> chewy mouthfeel. Next up, a carb bomb that will send you Weird transition. into a food coma, all for the price of 55 cents. Babaji. Get ready for the cheesiest dish in all of Mumbai. Oh! I just came. Imagine a fluffy bun filled with a mouth-watering <laughs> fried ball You're of mashed potatoes mixed with spices. Well, this is Vada Pav. Oh, butter pop, sorry. Start with the mixture of potatoes, turmeric, <laughs> red chili powder, garlic cloves, and green chilies. Shape it into balls and make a dent in the middle for the creamy cheese. <laughs> balls with cream in the middle of them. in the batter and fry <sighs> until crispy. So good. I don't think I've seen it with the, 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 the cheese in the middle. No, me neither. The fluffy toasted buns are coated with a spread of butter and mayonnaise. To elevate the flavors, a medley of tamarind chutney, green chutney, and dry garlic chutney. Oh. Finally, the crispy vada is nestled in center of the bun, and you are good to go. Yeah, I've never seen it with the, the, the cheese in the middle. Yeah, I've not seen that. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. Who's had this? A test. Let us know. Is it worthy? It looks amazing. Oh, my stars. for a dish that is packed with spices to the brim. I am talking about misalpav, a dish once recognized as the tastiest vegetarian dish in the world, yet costs less than a breadstick. Here is how you make it. You need a pot filled with oil. Infuse it with cumin, onions, and curry leaves. Add garam masala, coconut powder mash, and moth bean sprouts. Wow. Add a cup of water and bring it to a boil. While it cooks, prepare the sides. Diced red onions and potato mash topped with various types of Indian snacks. Mm. More moth bean sprouts and cilantro. Finally, add the toasted pav and enjoy. That looks great. 
To enjoy, forget cutlery. Just grab a soft piece of bread, rip it in half, and dig deep down inside this bowl of flavor. Wow, that looks good. stall has been serving a butter pack dish fit for royalty at prices even the lowest of peasants can afford. Don't call people peasants. <laughs> he looks like he's the lowest of peasants. Coming here because they serve really good pav bhaji which mostly contains black pepper. Uh, pav bhaji. It's very spicy so people who doesn't like spice may avoid it but I would recommend eat it once in your lifetime Damn. and then the next day you can give a bombastic performance on the loo. <laughs> That I that this place has a bombastic a performance on the loo. The, the best part is this guy puts butter so generously. You know, we enjoy a buttery pop Everything's pop better with butter, butter, butter including sex. Pop, buttery flaky party. crust. Must I like my buns buttered. The puff paji cooking process begins with a generous amount of butter melting on a medium Hallelujah. Tea, creating a rich and enticing aroma. Next, the pepper no. masala, tiny tomato puree, and creamy mashed potatoes join in, forming a flavorful and satisfying base for the dish. As everything simmers together, a mountain of vibrant coriander leaves add a touch of freshness. A mountain to the of mix. vibrant coriander leaves. It was a nice sentence. Nice sentence. Very picturesque. Once the ingredients are smashed together in a perfect blend, the pav bhaji is ready to be enjoyed. It's served with refreshing onion and tomato salad and bread buns soaked that's in That's not a salad, those are just tomatoes and No, onions. yeah, but that, you know, that's Indian salad, quote unquote. To the pav bhaji. Just chop up some cucumbers and radishes, you've got some salad. <laughs> To relish oh. pav bhaji, simply tear apart a buttered pav, dip it into the flavorful mashed vegetable bhaji, and let the explosion of tangy and spicy flavors take your taste buds on a joyride. Everything looks spectacular. We've gone all over the place with our genres and the music. ...of Mumbai comes to an end. Oh. From the black pav bhaji to the flying chole kulche, the cheese burst vada puff, the missile pav and the mouth-watering frankies. They all looked Mumbai's amazing. The street food scene never fails to impress. So the next time you find yourself in Mumbai, immerse yourself in the flavors of these iconic dishes. For they are more than just food. They are a testament to the city's resilience, creativity and the unwavering spirit of its people. <laughs> Great video. Well done. Well, it's um. Elevate your style with our brand new clothing. It's his. It's his. It's his other. Yeah. The other channel, but it's. I'm. I don't know how old this channel is, so I'm wondering if he originally did it with other people voicing over, and then to maybe people wanted his voice in it in right. some way. Right. And so maybe they started doing having him do the. Uh, the voiceover. Yeah, I mean, we've we've said it before. We'll say it again. It's just the, the food videos don't get any better than his his team puts together. We've always, from the earliest days of watching his channel, always remarked on how good his tech team is with putting everything together. That, that was just a really wonderful video. For those of you who've been to or live in Mumbai, if you've been to these places, let us know. Is it as good as it looks? I, I'm sure it is. Oh, sorry. Wow. Got distracted. Squirrel? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I wish uh, I was able to open the window. while Because there's one way. We have a tiny little room. This is like, this is technically a fifth bedroom. Right. In, in my house. But it's not a. No, it's it, too small. It's like a closet. Well, no, it would, it would, I would, this is my cup of tea. If I was like back when I was renting rooms and it was yeah. just me, I would love a room like well, this. Well, yeah. If you do one person with a twin yeah. bed, be great. you could. You'd be great. But uh, I, I have it because we have, it's Los Angeles and it's really hot here. And so I have it like, I have, I actually have film on the outside that, that is a hundred percent reflective. And so it reflects everything. Then I have a, a heat insulation or a, a insulation inside. And then I have it closed to try to keep all the heat that, that I can. But I would love to be able to look out Yes, which you don't has know what I'm talking about. Everything to do with this food video. I mean, it is so linear and <laughs> reflective of what we just watched. I agree with you. <laughs> uh, I would love to eat everything. I <laughs> doubt I could eat everything though. Um, spice level, I, I could. Right. The last one they said, if you don't like spice, you won't be able to eat it. At yeah, all. you did better than I expected by I, far on our trip. I think it's because people are stupid babies that helped us. Like if yeah, I, but if, if like we didn't have stupid babies and we just had oh my to go, goodness, you would have been dead. <laughs> 
Because I was like, oh, we should go here. But I, other things we ate, I remember eating stuff and looking to Indrani and going, oh, this is going to kill Corbin. And you you, yeah. you did okay. There's a few places. Raj, uh, yeah. Uh, Rajasthan was the was tough. Yeah. There's one video that we weren't able to post. Only video we weren't able to post. because Just because of actually... Um, the the quality of it because it was at night it was at night and uh i think i was still filming on my phone <laughs> yeah and so the, the the quality of it was just bad the the because there was like other people so it was loud the 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 visuals on it were bad we were also very tired <laughs> you especially yeah i was very tired that yeah <laughs> during that day because that it was also crazy during that time but anyways <clears throat> uh beautiful food video let us know if you've had any of this let us know what the food videos we can react to down below Just